Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received Council of Representatives Speaker for the Yazainal and Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh. His Royal Highness highlighted the successful and ongoing collaboration between the executive and legislative authorities, noting this partnership continues to deliver on the aspiration of the Kingdom's citizens under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He pointed to the recently announced positive preliminary fiscal results for the year 2019 and praised the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance and the Ministry of Finance and National Economy for their important role in implementing initiatives of the Fiscal Balance Program. His Royal Highness also noted the importance of doubling efforts to increase the contribution of non-oil revenues to the economy and reduce expenditure, underscoring the need for integrated efforts between the executive and legislative authorities in this regard. He added that providing extensive opportunities for citizens in tandem with economic growth is a central component of the Kingdom's comprehensive development plans and noted that citizens will always remain at the heart of all development efforts. Turning to the precautionary measures taken in light of the recent coronavirus outbreak, His Royal Highness underlined the swift efforts taken by the Supreme Council of Health and the Ministry of Health to ensure efficiency preventive measures are implemented, as well as their cooperation with major centers for disease control and international organizations. The Council of Representatives Speaker and the Shura Council Chairman expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness for his support for enhanced cooperation between the two authorities. The meeting was attended by Deputy Prime Ministers, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, Jawad Al Rayyad, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, BCCI Chairman Samir Nas, and a number of senior officials. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Dhabiya Palace. Following the meeting, the cabinet secretary general, Dr. Yasser bin Isa Nasser, made the following statement. The cabinet extended congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Kingdom citizens on the 19th anniversary of the National Action Charter. The cabinet highlighted the historic achievements of Bahrain's comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King and underlined the importance and ongoing contribution of the Kingdom's citizens. The cabinet went on to welcome His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's meeting with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in Germany, wishing His Royal Highness the Prime Minister continued health and a safe return to the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then briefed the cabinet on the successful outcomes of the official visit His Royal Highness led to Italy, during which His Royal Highness the Crown Prince met with His Holiness Pope Francis and the Prime Minister of Italy, Giuseppe Conte, and a number of senior business officials. The cabinet noted the visit has strengthened bilateral relations and cooperation, benefiting both countries and their people. The cabinet praised the positive fiscal results for the year 2019 compared with 2018. 
In conclusion, the cabinet noted that the kingdom witnessed positive growth in 2019 parallel with the implementation of the initiatives under the fiscal balance program and supported by the positive growth of non-oil sectors. The Cabinet approved an amendment to the regulations of the Civil Aviation Law. The amendment permits licensing of navigation and meteorological services with the addition of new definitions and technical terms and amends text related to aircraft accidents, air security, international air transport and the reservation of aircrafts. The Cabinet approved a draft resolution specifying the regulations and requirements of mobile food trucks services within residential locations. The Cabinet approved three MOUs and an executive program between the governments of Bahrain and the UAE to cooperate across various fields. The Cabinet approved a draft resolution issuing executive regulations for veterinary products within the GCC issued by Law Number no. 19 for the year 2014. The Cabinet also approved a draft resolution issuing the executive regulations for veterinary practice within the GCC issued by Law Number no. 17 for the year 2014. The Cabinet reviewed the strategic initiatives and priorities that are being implemented by the Works Affairs under the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning in order to implement the main objectives of the 2019-2022 to government program aimed at achieving further sustainable development. The Cabinet reviewed a report submitted by the Minister of Health regarding the measures taken to intensify supervision and inspections on retail shops, restaurants and salons, ensuring the implementation of the Cabinet decision taken on this topic. The Cabinet approved a recommendation regarding the late disbursement of bonuses and payments to sport pl players and national coaches within various sports clubs through the national program launched by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. The Cabinet approved a recommendation to invite cancer patients and patients with chronic diseases su such as sickle cell anemia and attend important football matches within the Kingdom. The Cabinet reviewed a number of ministerial reports, including one submitted by the Minister of Foreign Affairs regarding the results of the extraordinary session of the Arab League Council at the ministerial level held recently in Cairo, and a report submitted by the Minister of Works regarding a visit made by the UAE's Minister of State for Food Security to, the bah to Bahrain, as well as a report submitted by the Minister of Health regarding the provision of supplies needed to ensure safeguarding the Kingdom from the novel coronavirus. Two further reports submitted by the Minister of Sports and Youth Affairs were also reviewed regarding the activities organized to celebrate the Bahrain National Sports Day and outcomes of the ministry participation in the conference to discuss the future of the global sports industry, which was recently held in the United States of America. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Chairman of the Economic Development Board, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday chaired the ADB Board meeting. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's achievements across all sectors and stressed the importance of implementing various economic strategies in order to further advance sustainable development in line with the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince emphasized that Bahraini citizens remain an integral part of Team Bahrain's efforts and highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to providing quality opportunities for citizens in tandem with the growth of the national economy. 
He noted that the kingdom's economic competitiveness is centered around wide-ranging sustainable diversification efforts designed to enhance its business environment and create further investment opportunities. The CEO of EDB, Khaled Hamidan, then presented the latest economic indicators and developments regarding the performance of the kingdom's national economy, according to data issued by the International Monetary Fund. Real GDP increased by 2% in 2019. Non-oil growth increased by 2.2% due to improved performance in sectors such as financial services and manufacturing, and growth in the oil and gas sector increased by 1%. Hamida went on to highlight the ADB's success in attracting foreign direct investment and creating quality opportunities in the local market. The ADB attracted 134 foreign companies into the kingdom in 2019, resulting in a total direct investment of $835 million. These investments are projected to create more than 6,000 job opportunities in the local market over the next three years. Hamidan explained that the companies from Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Kuwait, France, India, Japan, the UK, Hong Kong and others have invested across the kingdom's various sectors. He remarked that each of these investments further enhanced Bahrain's economic diversification efforts. He concluded by highlighting the ADB's strategic objective for the year 2020, which are designed to further expand the base of investment projects across all sectors, in line with the kingdom's comprehensive development. A number of senior government officials and EDB board members were also present. The National Guard Commander General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa received the UK's Senior Defence Advisor to the Middle East, Lieutenant General Sir John Lorimer, and his accompanying delegation. The meeting was attended by British Military Attaché Commander Paul A. Winsar. The National Guard Commander underlined the solid bilateral relations, highlighting the tremendous efforts of the UK's Defence Ministry and promoting cooperation between the two friendly countries. Both sides discussed issues of common concern. Lieutenant General Sir John Lorimer praised the strong historical relations between Bahrain and the UK, stressing his country's keenness on further bolstering them to achieve regional and strategic security and maintain the kingdom's growth. Under the patronage of the National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Guard inaugurated a new facility that launched modern military systems in the presence of the Royal Guard Special Force Commander Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which marks the 52nd anniversary of the BDF establishment. His Highness listened to a brief on the new system and the developed techniques it contains. His Highness affirmed that this inauguration is considered an added value to the Royal Guard as well as enhance the human cadre's capabilities to enhance the level of performance and overcome all challenges. His Highness praised a significant level of the Royal Guard affiliates and exp expressed thanks and appreciation to the officers for their role and preparedness and wished them further success. Deputy Royal Guard Commander Major General Hamad Khalifa Naimi and a number of senior officers were present. The Kingdom of Bahrain will celebrate tomorrow the National Day of Sports and all the Kingdom's institutions will prepare for this occasion. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, is very keen on this occasion and urges everyone to make sports a lifestyle. His Highness said that Bahrain Sports Day is an important event that aims to highlight the importance of sports, its benefits and raising awareness on this regard. He added that this day will gather a large number of audience of different ages to exercise. His Highness also said that the aspired results of this day are evident in various events and initiatives that aim to highlight the importance of sports to all people. 
He urged all sectors across the kingdom to hold a number of activities on this occasion in order to encourage people to exercise and participate to consolidate the values of the sports day and its noble goals. The chairman of the board of trustees at Dirasat, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, participated in the United Nations Human Settlements Program for Human Settlements and Sustainable Urban Development in Abu Dhabi, which was patronized by the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Sheikh Abdullah underlined the importance of discussing challenges in the field of urban planning and cited Bahrain's policy of limiting the use of plastic as an example of scientific research in this field that supports policy making. He added that sustainable urban development is a field that suffers from lack of researchers and policy makers, makes exchanging expertise and information even more important. The National Action Charter has established and enhanced the principles of tolerance and peaceful coexistence in all fields, which made Bahrain an honorable global model. The third item in the National Action Charter ensured the freedom of religion and affirmed that it is protected by the state and that the freedom of thought is absolute. The National Action Charter also affirms that the state protects the sanctity of places of worship and ensures the freedom of religious practice according to traditions which necessitates the consolidation of the principles of peaceful coexistence and tolerance between religions as an essential pillar of state building. The Kingdom of Bahrain has been distinguished throughout its history for being a global model to be followed in coexistence and tolerance between all religions and sects. The royal order to establish the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence in 2018 came to honor the Kingdom of Bahrain's march in becoming an honorable model in tolerance. The initiative of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to promote the principles of tolerance, moderation, peace and coexistence, and the rejection of intolerance, which were dictated by the National Action Charter, were the basis for drafting the Constitution in 2002, which derived the legal reference from the National Action Charter, as it was an ambition that developed into a reform project, then a reality we live, and a future we look forward to.